Hello and welcome to Release Date Rewind. My name is Mark J. Parker and I am a film lover, filmmaker, film celebrator. And normally this is an audio podcast wherever you get your podcasts on your favorite apps. But thanks to Portland Media Center, you are about to watch the video component of this show where I celebrate movie anniversaries with my friends. Each month, I usually talk about two different movies that I love with different friends, and we talk about the making of the movies, trivia, any fun memories associated with them. So I hope you enjoy, because now it's time to rewind. What are yeah. some of your favorite moments? Um, well, I like the part when they go to the bar and Madonna oh, does the jitterbug. Love it with the yeah. with the two guys, and, and then she is good. And she I was is looking good. Closely, that's her. That's not yeah. like a, a dance double. She no. was working her ass off. They're yeah. throwing her around. So much yeah. fun. And the yeah. one guy was in Laverne and Shirley, the one oh. that was dressed as the army and with the army outfit okay. on or whatever it was. Yeah. He was um Shirley's boyfriend, Carmine. Oh, that's funny. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, Eddie Mecca. He just okay. died last year. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I think last year. Yeah. But if you notice, he's from Laverne and Shirley and um, Lenny and Squiggy, the one guy, is the announcer at all oh, the games. Yep. yep. He's I don't, great. Squiggy? I don't yes. know. I, yeah. Lenny and Squiggy, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, okay, so that's one of my favorite scenes. And then, of course, the song that they sing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. Yep. And... Um, and then the the last like you know big scene like does Dottie throw the game? Oh my gosh, Solana, does she? It is so because I I had never seen that part. I never saw the ending. So that is one intense, great. I was on the edge of my seat. Yeah, I mean it was so it was shot so well. I mean they must have shot just that scene for a, at least a whole week to get everyone's reactions and all the action. Oh my god, yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah, and it's like a big debate. Like people like argue like did she throw the game for her sister or you know, did her sister really beat her for I, once i i saw it as her sister really beat her right that's what how i think? saw it yeah. that's how i saw it because i actually thought about it like like yeah. really thought about it and she loved the game too much just to mm. throw it because in her mind she knew she was going to be done yeah so yeah she knew her sister would have she knew her sister would keep it up and have mm. more of a chance to shine on her own without her being there. Because she yeah. knew once she was done this game, she's going to go off with her husband. Right. And and that's that. Yeah. And um, Which, I who, don't... Who, by the way, who wouldn't want to run off with Bill Pullman? I know. I, mean, I know. Yeah. Right? It's like, okay, yeah. yeah, of course she wants to go. She's got to go make babies like tonight. Go. <laughs> yeah. You know? Right after yeah. the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bye, Tom. Hanks or whatever. Yeah, Jimmy Dugan. Totally. Yeah. Bye, Jimmy. Yeah. And I like, she's like, yeah. bye, Jimmy. And he's just like, you know, yeah. before she yeah. comes back and surprise i love her surprise i know yes we're, you know talking about the end i love when he because he thinks um who is ellen sue i believe is the one blonde um uh, game player she's you know tossing the ball with someone who's in the catcher outfit right and he's yeah. like how's she doing you know come on talk to me or whatever and then the it was just such a great surprise when gina davis stands up she's like why are you calling me someone else's name? It's me. Yeah. And he's just, he's shocked because he thought she was already, you know, on her way back home. I love that she came back. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And then but that whole intense moment. Yeah. And you, yeah. you know, Lori, Lori Petty does not get, in my opinion, enough recognition for how good she is. I mean, I know I loved her in Tank Girl, which was a couple years later, which is such a weird movie. Do you remember Tank Girl? I do. I do. Yeah. Oh I don't, God. I didn't see the whole thing, but oh, yeah, it's a wacky, wacky <laughs> movie. But, um, she is so good. And when she's, you know, that big game in the finale, yeah. right. And she's the pitcher. And, um, I think it was, yeah. Then Gina Davis, Dottie's like up to bat and you could see like Lori Petty is like having a panic attack. Like, this yeah. was after their big blowout fight, which is so funny and so sad at the same time. I love when all the girls are eavesdropping you yeah. know, behind the door and yeah. on the stairs. And Rosie's like, don't look at her. Don't look at her. Yeah. Oh, my God. I love that I know. moment. But, yeah, you know, you really do feel for Kit. At least I did. You know, yeah. I get it. Like, she's overshadowed by her sister who's prettier, better, you know, everything. But it really is a complex fight because, yeah, you know, part of me is like, oh, just let Kit have her moment. 
But at the same time, like, yeah, Kit, you're kind of always hard on Dottie. Dottie can't control right. how people view her. You right. Know? It's yeah. not like she's doing bad things to you. It, no. She also might feel uncomfortable about it, but it's just her life as well. So I kind of liked when during their big blowout fight, Dottie's like, what did she say? I wrote it down. Blow it out your ass or something <laughs> yeah. like that. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, yeah. what a line. When she, you know, she's sick of feeling like she's always doing something wrong because right. Kit is never happy. It's like, you know what? I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. So I get it. You know, I really do see both sides, but I thought, I thought Dottie was maybe going to throw the game or go up to Jimmy and be like, you know what? I have to let my sister do this, you know? Yeah. So I, I was sort of surprised that she didn't do that, that she really did look kit in the eye and wow it was a war it was a battle yeah you know yeah and i mean they were always competitive yep. like at the very beginning you saw so maybe yeah. she didn't see it as you know something as serious just like like almost as if they were playing at home still yeah. you know what i mean and it was oh, just yeah. like in other words i'm not going to make it easy on her so she could learn and be better on her own yeah. like tough love you know? totally, to totally tough love. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jimmy switches Kit. That That's what starts the whole right. fight to the yeah. other team. But I forget, why does she, why is she moved to the other team? Um, oh, I think because Gina Davis says something like, I'm going to go home right. and something, let my sister. And he took it as, oh yeah. Like he, they just took it as let, let's just get rid of the sister. So then she'll stay and not have to right. worry about her. Cause Dottie's so good. We can just lose the yeah. sister. We'll swap. Right, it was like a miscommunication, right? And yeah, yeah. When, when Kit comes home, I love to, the, like the house they're all living in, and yeah. she throws, she catches the ball. They're throwing the ball inside. She catches it and she throws it through that window, scaring everyone. Wow, that's a really great explosive argument. Yeah, you know? yeah, that was good. Yeah. I know, and that was true though, because like I mean, I don't have any siblings, but I've seen siblings fight. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we go hard. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw both sides. I'm sure some people only kind of see one side. Once the, I think it's the Racine team, um, mm -hmm. Kit's team that wins, which is funny. Did you notice Taya Leone is in this? But oh, she doesn't really I know. Have any yeah. Wins. No. Isn't that funny? I think she says one word when she's at bat one time, but she's on the Racine yeah. team. Right away, I'm like, wait a minute, that's Taya Leone. And she pops up throughout all of it. That's so funny. Yeah. It's, it's kind of sad because then they go separate ways at the end. I know. And then, like, you know? at the beginning of the movie, you know, when they're old. Yes. And the, the daughter says something like, um, you know, you'll you'll get to see Aunt Kit. You haven't seen her in a long time. And right. so, like, I feel like they've seen each other throughout the years, but not enough to, like, yeah. you know, like, go uh -huh. over each other's houses and, yeah. you know. It sounds like it was not, like, even just, like, once a year. It's like, oh, right. yeah, every few years we'll see each other. Yeah. So that was kind of sad. But, again, it's yeah. realistic. I mean, yeah. I like how the movie is very sweet and... You know, it's for the most part pretty family friendly. I know Madonna's got some fun, like kind of sexual stuff, yeah. you know, <laughs> jokes. But it's pretty, you know, I mean, totally fine showing this to a kid, I think. But um, yeah, even though it's sweet, it does still hold on to a little bit of that, like kind of darkness, you know, just sort of like that realistic, like, yeah, you're not always going to be best friends with your sister or right. your friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's funny. What do you think about the old, old versions of them? Like, it's so funny how Gina Davis does the voice of her older self. I wonder what's I know. that about, you know? I know. I mean, she really did look like an older Gina Davis. Oh, yeah. I thought the casting was yeah. really good. But I wonder if her voice maybe, just wasn't appropriate. Maybe yeah, maybe her, her voice. Yeah. Like, Gina yeah. Davis has, her voice isn't low, but, like, mm -hmm. it's not high. It's, like Yeah, and she, I would say it's it's a lower, like, kind of, yeah. you know, um, it's got a real presence, her voice. Like, she has a unique sound. Yeah. You know? And maybe she, it just, just just didn't look right, like, or sound yeah. right. I mean, like, yeah. you know? Because mm -hmm. um, that was the only one. Because the one, um, May right. and... Um, and uh, Doris Rosie's, is Rosie, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Yeah. And they they were actual players yeah like when they the ones that came out like yeah yeah but i was trying to look for the real may the one that oh, that i yeah. sent you that article um she just yeah. came out at the um yes let's talk yeah. about her so yeah, yeah. Is she the real may she's she's the in... real may and she's like 99 yes. right 90 up. or 99 yeah she's super super 
old and she just finally came out at the Tribeca Film Festival screening yes. of the show, right? Yeah. Let me pull it up. And now I was trying to find her because they had all real players like at the end and the beginning. Yeah, I was going to say the end, the credits during the song, there's a lot of footage of older, you know, women playing. And I was wondering that they must be the real players. Yeah. From the from the real They are. Yeah. Yeah. They are. Yeah. Maybelle Blair is is the real She's so cute though. Did you see her hair? Uh, Oh, yeah. yeah. (laughs) She reminds me of um, the old woman on The Nanny. You yeah, Grandma show? Yetta. Yes. Yeah. Don't they kind of look similar, <laughs> yes, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, that is such a sweet video that you sent. I'll I'll try to share yeah. that. But yeah, she just finally at like 95 came out and she said she's only, I, I, I think she's maybe only really been out or at least been living authentically like only these last few years. She's been yeah. so in the closet. Oh, I so know. Sad. I hope yeah. she lives like a, at least another 10 years to enjoy I know, it. To really enjoy herself. I know. Yeah. Totally. I know. It's you know, and that's also what's so cool about this movie is it's about you know, women, some of them real women who are obviously we know um queer, lesbian, bisexual, whatever, right? Not straight. Yeah. And how even some women in the in the cast are not straight you know right. rosie's gay we know madonna yeah tra- has tried it all yeah <laughs> uh, right but you know i'm glad that that they have you know just some diversity there in sexuality like yeah. the real women yeah, yeah. So but i nice think touch. with the new show they're gonna uh, because it's a different time like yeah. it's 2022 they're going to play the, on that more and not yeah. keep it like because you know how like rosie had the whole speech about oh this is my boyfriend back at home Oh yeah, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, they should, could have left that out, I think, yeah. and just I don't know because it was a different time, and I know mm-hmm. probably back then they they would say you know don't yeah. go see that you know whatever. Yeah, and I think even does I know at the very end when Kit and Dottie are reunited as as when they're older she uh, at first i didn't realize that was kit but she also that was good casting of that woman yeah she yeah. and Lori petty had that same kind of face right. but she has like a bunch of kids and i couldn't tell like was her husband there or i couldn't tell if she had like a partner with her because she just yeah. was in this group of people but yeah it is interesting i mean i know 30 years ago it still would have been sadly pretty bold to have one of them be like just an right out, like lesbian but yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it. And it makes perfect sense for the show to explore that. And maybe right. one of them it does have a boyfriend or husband, but is secretly gay. I mean, right. Right? that just yeah. feels like a well, great storyline. Well, that's what they used to do back in the 40s and 50s. Like, totally. Just because it wasn't accepted, they would get married. And, yep. you know, so maybe oh, yeah. I guess they played that true, but they just yep. couldn't say the full right. truth. Yeah, because it was and the nineties, and, and like anything with it with a TV show, now you have more room, more episodes right. to explore what's really going on. Maybe there's even like a secret relationship on the team, right? The women, yeah, right. You can you would really, think, you know, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that yeah. would be great, like drama. If you know, if someone finds out or whatever. So yeah, you can really play into all those things that the movie just didn't have time for, right? You know? mm-hmm. And the good part is, before Penny Marshall died, I read that she, um was like um, talking to the new writers and directors of the new show. Cause they've been trying oh. to get this. Wow. That in the, yeah. So she wow. g- hopefully gave like, you know, some ideas and stuff so she could still be a part of it, you right. know? Yeah. 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 Because that's I, great. I think they were trying to get this going for a long time, but then that's great. I wouldn't be surprised if they dedicate, you know, a, something to Penny Marshall or if she yeah. was even just like credited as like a producer or something, you know, right. Since, especially knowing that she was chatting with them, you know, that's cool. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And I think they're also going to explore, you know, the one part when they're playing and um, this black woman comes and gets yeah. the ball and throws it. What a She's great a real, scene. I can't think of her name, but that was based on an actual real up. player. Okay. And they're going to explore, like, they're going to make episodes about all the black women, Good. but they weren't allowed to play with the whatever oh, whatever with the, the women it was it was segregated yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah so they they had their own league that makes sense so they're yeah. gonna probably focus on that which is good because that's a part of history too that nobody knows 
about. Totally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so that, like a yeah. perfect idea. Mm -hmm. So that one lady, they, I don't know if they even credited her at the end. I forgot to look, like if they Let gave her a see. name. Yeah. Cause uh, uh, do you know, was she a real play like baseball player or she was just an actress? I, I think, I think they based it on, on a real player yeah. that she wanted to play on the, t on the, the league. But they wouldn't allow her, so then they started their own. Yeah. Um. But then, obviously, that wasn't even you know publicized at the right. time because right. And also, it's a cool little brief moment to show that many women, like strangers on the street, can be good at sports. You right. Know, can do anything. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah. cute little touching moment for sure. Yeah. But yeah, love that idea. They should totally mm -hmm. explore. The, the segregation, other races, other teams. There's they could do so much, honestly. Yeah. I hope it's good because I'd like yeah. to say it be like a couple seasons. Yeah. So they could hit on all those topics that were kind of you know oh, yeah. mm -hmm. hit, they were hit but not like totally. Yeah. yeah. And then the one other scene that sticks out for me is, you know, uh Betty Spaghetti. Betty Spaghetti. Which one's that? She's the one that when the the military comes in the locker room. Yes. Oh, yes. And her Betty. her husband is the one that died. Yes. That, that is a very intense scene. Yeah. And then you know who she is, right? Why do I know her? She looks so familiar, Solana. She is Penny Marshall and uh Rob Reiner's daughter. Oh Tra Tracy Reiner. If you look her up. Okay. She, so, but she's pretty good. Like, it's yeah. not like she lived up to her name. <laughs> like, I know I've seen her in other things. Yeah, I so. think she was in other things. I don't yeah. know if she really kept up with the acting, but that yeah. I mean, two good parents. Like, wow, you have to have some kind of talent. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. No, she's good. She's yeah, and, and she's in it throughout. And she's uh, I I remember because she's sitting there right next to Tom Hanks during his famous. Are you crying? Yeah. <laughs> There's no crying in baseball. What a great scene. But he, he is very intense, I have to say. Like, yeah. <laughs> when he really gets in, um, I love that player's, um, Evelyn. 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 Who has little Stillwell, Stillwell the boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. He's such a brat. And when Tom Hanks throws the glove at him, I, like, gasped. I was like, oh, my God. I know, but I would do that to a kid yeah. like that. I'd be like, get oh out of here. <laughs> he's such a little brat, always in the way. But, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, going back to Tracy. Yeah, she's right there during that infamous scene. And yeah, that scene with the, with the, you know, it's funny because it's so serious and we know immediately like knock, knock, like this guy's coming in with mail, right? Yeah. With, with telegrams. So we kind of know, oh boy, this might be kind of scary, but he's so comedic and he's like, oh, I don't, I can't find I my know, thing. And, yeah. You know, and like, and Tom Hanks is like punching him and pushing him out the door. I'm like, wow. But yeah, the whole dreaded, like everyone's looking at each other and we, for a second, we think it's going to be Dottie, yeah. you know, but it's right next to her. Yeah, that is I sad. know. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. That's tough. But that's how it was back yeah. then. Like, yeah. yeah. And then how, yeah. you know, Jimmy has to awkwardly say like, all right, like pull yourselves together because we still have to play a game. It's like, yeah. I mean, life goes on even though this is such a horrible moment. Yeah. 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 That's a really interesting scene for sure. Columbia Pictures would like to take you out to the ball game for an all-star comedy. They'll pay you $75 a week. We only make 30 at the dairy. Well then, this would be more, wouldn't it? And you know, the song was real. I looked that up, you know? We are the, the members of... So yeah, was that really sung, like in the real league? Two of the players wrote it, and it's the victory song. Nalda Bird Phillips and Pepper Pear Davis. Oh my they were gosh, actual players. Yeah. I don't know if they played for the Peaches, but they were a part of the of the league. Of the league, yeah. And they wrote the song um for uh Philip Wrigley. Okay. The, uh, who who Gary Marshall's character Inspired, is based his on. Character, yep, and like mm -hmm. obviously like Wrigley Field. I know that yeah. much, is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know like, that oh, much. Yeah. We yeah. heard of that place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think Madonna played there once yeah. like in a concert or something. Yeah. 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 That's so funny. The manager, Tom Hanks. Are you crying? There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. The catcher, Gina Davis. What do you say we slip in the back seat and you make a man out of me? What do you say I smack you around for a while? Can't we do both? The pitcher, Lori Petty. I made it. I'm a peach. A Rockford peach. The scout, John Lovitz. Are you coming? See how it works is, the train moves, not the station. 
and batting cleanup, Madonna. What if my uniform bursts open and oops, my bosoms come flying out? You think there are men in this country who ain't seen your bosoms? A league of their own. <laughs> right when we meet Rosie, Doris, she's throwing the ball, and that's the scene where she throws the ball to kind of like throw off Dottie, but yeah. Dottie catches it. Like she's like the Terminator or something. Yeah. She goes, Some of you are going home. <laughs> and then once Dottie catches yeah. it, she says, um, then, oh, maybe it's May. I forget. One of them says, okay, some of them are going home. Yeah. I thought that I, yeah. was a really yeah. cute moment, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And, you know, speaking of the whole kind of uh, lesbian, you know, sexuality thing, I thought it was also so interesting early on. The woman on the radio that so, because uh, a lot of women, I'm sure, were so against women playing sports like that's a man's thing yeah the woman on the radio says like this is sexual confusion women's oh baseball, yeah they uh, it's going to be a competition to see which woman can be the most masculine but it makes perfect sense because i mean there are still people today especially women too which is you know pretty weird to say that about other women you know like yeah. that totally makes sense that there would be a total anti like ew you're a woman playing this man's game you know right yeah yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that part. That's like at the very beginning. Yep. And then they make them go to um oh my refinery gosh, yeah. school or whatever yeah. it was. I know, and, and I thought that was so funny because it's like they will not need any of this I know. on the team. But like you said, because <laughs> Gary Marshall's Harvey wants them to also still be like sexy ladies. Yeah. You know? Bring the men out to see you play the game, but you also want to bring them to show right. you know your your girlishness yeah yeah god such pressure <laughs> i know. You know and how about poor marla she's like oh my god <laughs> i know when we meet marla her eyes I know. and when she's uh, singing like basically karaoke to her <laughs> lover she is so funny oh my gosh i know she's good i know she's good what, what's her real name megan cavanaugh i think she's yes. in a lot of things yeah you know it's funny because yeah. i Saw, first saw her in Mel Brooks's Robin Hood Men in Tights. Yeah, she did a few yeah, movies with yeah. him, I think. And Dracula, Dead and Loving yes. It, I love. So she, this was, I think, one of her first bigger things. But then she definitely was in some pretty iconic 90s uh, comedies for sure. Oh, and then there's Miss Cuthbert, which, by the way, one thing that definitely wouldn't age well today is how Jimmy is so uh, touchy with Miss oh, Cuthbert, the old, older lady who kind of is, I guess, there. I don't really know what she does. I guess she's their, like uh, like you were saying, the refinery school. Yeah, she's, sort of she's their... their chaperone because yes. I read that the real players had to have chaperones. Oh, interesting. And and those those two players that I mentioned that wrote the song, they uh, they would always break the rules and they'd have to pay a fine. Oh, like they would okay. always, like you weren't really supposed to go out. You yeah. couldn't be caught drinking, um. smoking, cursing, um, and you couldn't be caught wearing pants outside like if you were go going to go really? to like the store you had to wear a dress and a hat and gloves oh my god yeah so many goddamn rules yeah oh, yeah geez life was hard for women back then and today of course um, yeah wow geez but yeah i i noticed i really like made some notes i was like he's spanking her he's kissing her on the, on the bus <laughs> on the bus I know. oh my gosh when he spanks her he says you gorgeous stack of pancakes you <laughs> i'm like i, I gotta start using that That's yeah <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and also another fun Jimmy moment is when he, because, because, you know, he's like a famous, he used to be a famous baseball player. Right. You know? Yeah. And when the kids later on, the kids, um, there are boys that want him to sign his autograph on their baseball. And the boy reads, avoid the clap, <laughs> Jimmy Dugan. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. my God. And I'm sure as a kid, I would have just, you know, that goes right over my head. Oh, yeah. I don't know. You know, but, yeah. oh my God, as an adult, what a great, dark, twisted line. I know. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, I don't know if you remember, but when Prince died, I mm. think it was at the Grammys or some kind of music awards, Madonna okay. sang Nothing Compares and was wearing all purple and in a purple chair. Okay. That is sort of ringing a bell. Yeah. Okay. So Lori Petty wrote something on her Instagram, like, so, and her, I thought her and Madonna were friends mm. and wrote something like, uh, I don't know. She like bashed her performance and oh. said they, that she shouldn't have sang that. It should have been somebody else or oh. I don't know, something like that. So I wrote in reply <laughs> on Instagram to Lori, <laughs> I wrote some friend you are. And she blocked me. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> she blocked me. <laughs> oh my God, Solana, I am dying. <laughs> 
I'm dying, and yeah. I love that you're saving this for now. Yeah. Like, you could, oh my god, wow! <laughs> she blocked me, and like, <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh my god. Are you still blocked? Do you think? No, I checked? checked. I checked, and it said I could follow her again. Oh, but she eased up. She on completely you. blocked me. Like, I couldn't even look her up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On and Instagram. I mean, yeah, and I mean, all I said was some friend you are. I didn't say anything like, you know, like yeah. she was getting like a lot of like uh, yeah, comments. Yeah, there was, yeah, some yeah. flack for sure. But yeah, like, it's not like you cursed or No, like, all I said was some friend you are, and she blocked me. <laughs> oh my gosh, Solana, jeez. Yeah. I have wow. to stick up for Madonna, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, that's so interesting. I That makes me kind of sad that they so Aren't I don't friends I guess I don't know right? like and then she said something like it was taken out of context uh, okay. and then I was just looking at her Instagram the other day and she it seems like she act either knew Prince or was like a oh. really big fan okay so like so okay she like feeling but, protective of him I guess yeah but yeah. then again when's the last time she saw Madonna like are they that friendly like I don't know right uh, in like 19, it was after a league of their own. So I think it was like 93 or 94, hmm. uh, Greece was open on Broadway, like, a um, a, a remake, revival. a revival, yeah. couldn't think of the word. Mm -hmm. And, um, Rosie was in it. Uh, she played Rizzo, Megan yeah. Mullally was in it, played Marty, mm -hmm. Billy Porter was in it. He played the teen angel. That's so amazing. I had the front row. And it was my like summer gift that we'd go see a Broadway show. It was like probably my third Broadway show I saw, oh, wow. like ever. Yep. yep. And um, I was in the front row, and they all, you know, in Greece, smoke cigarettes. Oh yeah. And Rosie didn't really smoke; she just held the cigarette and th would throw it. And I saw when she threw it, it rolled between the lights and the stage. So I kept my eye on it the whole time oh, until wow. intermission. And here it is. Oh I don't know. my God. In a little Petri dish, <laughs> she has. Wait. Now, now, did Rosie light right it, do you think, or no? It wasn't lit. Um, I was don't, I think it was lit. I mean, some of the stuff fell out. I don't know if you could. Oh my gosh. You are touching a, a little yeah, cigarette. She, she had her she mouth touched. right here. Wow. I have her oh DNA my on my hands. <laughs> a league of their own right here, right here. Yes. So yeah, oh. so a little post-release, a little legacy of the movie. It opened at number two. It didn't open at number one. That was Batman Returns. But it did move to number one in its second weekend. And it was in theaters for a while. It ended up making around a little more than $130 million worldwide. It, of course, is a classic. So many people love it. I, I can't imagine yeah. anyone hating this movie, right? Yeah. Um, Ten years ago, in December 2012, it was announced that the movie was going to be preserved uh, as part of the U.S. National Film Registry. So it's, oh, that's Gina nice. Does yeah, one of the you know best movies. Oh yeah, uh, Gina Davis was nominated for a Golden Globe. Yep. Oh, and and we're wrong. Actually, Madonna's song was nominated for. Oh, a it Golden was. Globe. Mm -hmm. Okay. It didn't win. Though neither of them won. But yeah, so the Golden Globes did recognize it. And then there there was a Carol King song called "Now and Forever." Oh yeah. That I... was nominated for a Grammy. Madonna didn't get a Grammy nom, but okay. Carol King, yeah. And then MTV Movie Award. It was Gina Davis was nominated. Rosie was nominated. And Best Kiss between Pauline Brailsford and Tom Hanks was. Is that Miss? Oh. <laughs> Is that that's, Miss Cuthbert? Yeah, yes. Oh my God, that's so <laughs> twisted. Thanks so much for watching. Next time, there's going to be a new movie that we'll talk about, so stay tuned. And please follow Release Date Rewind on Instagram for updates. Bye.